What's going on everybody? This is Mason. You are tuning into the YouTube channel Wasatch Pop. Guys, hope you're having a fantastic day. Fantastic week. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Guys, today we're going to be talking about some rumored Funko Pops that could be coming out later this year. And like I said, rumored because nothing is official until Funko does announce it. So there's just some stuff that's been floating around out there, like some lists and some images and stuff about some things that could be coming out here in the near future. And we are going to be talking about them today. So this information was given to, well, I wasn't given to me, I guess. I just found it on Instagram. So this was posted by Serlent Pops. Um, it was via somebody else. Let me double check and see who it was. Uh, let's see. So it was via JV Mon on Instagram, but um, Serlent Pops reposted it. So this list has a lot of really cool stuff. So um, I guess let's just get into it. Uh, so first off right on here, we have an advent calendar, a couple of different advent calendars. There is the Five Nights at Freddy's, Harry Potter, Pokemon, and The Office. And if I had to guess, these would probably be released um, probably in like October of this upcoming year. It's cool. I mean, if you're into the whole advent calendar thing and all the little mini figures or mini pops that come in those, this is honestly something that's for you. And it's something that looks really cool if you're into that. Um, maybe one of these days I'll get an advent calendar, a Funko one. I don't know, but... Overall, if I was to get one, maybe the office one. That sounds pretty fun. Next up, guys, we have um, a couple of different anime pops. So we have Boruto, we have Demon Slayer, and we have Fairy Tale. And now I know Demon Slayer has been something that a lot of people have been really excited about, something that they've wanted for a really long time. So that'll be cool to see these pops. I know that there's been some leaked images out there and then some other things that people have found. So it'll be interesting to see if this actually happens this year or what is to become of the Demon Slayer line of pops i know that there's been figures and all that other stuff um but there's also fairy tale which i think there's already been pops that have come out of that so this is probably like a second or third wave of that and Baruto, I'm pretty sure there's already pops of that. So this is either second or third wave of that. So get excited for that. And if you're wanting to know like all the names and stuff, I'll have them up here um, over on this side. So yeah, in case you're wondering which ones from those ones, that's where they're coming from. All right guys, so we got a couple of different things over here. So we have some like keychains and plush. So it looks like a couple of Harry Potter holiday stuff, Hermione and Hedwig. There's also a Beetlejuice keychain. So for all of you that are into like the little accessory kind of stuff, that is definitely gonna be coming. Um, let's see, so we have a couple of pop rock stuff. So we have John Lennon in a military jacket and a Pearl Jam five pack. So John Lennon, uh, he's from the Beatles, if I'm not mistaken, and I could totally be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure he's from the Beatles. They haven't made a pop of him since, well, they made the Beatles pops. And so this will be cool to see another version of him. I don't know what the significance is of the military jacket, but either way, we could be getting a John Lennon pop, Pearl Jam, in a five pack. I think that would be very interesting. We don't get very many five packs out there. I think the last one that I can think of is like the McDonald's five pack that happened and that's probably been the most popular as of late. But anyways, yeah, if you're a Pearl Jam fan, that's really exciting for you. Very big box, good luck on displaying that, but something that has potential of coming out here. All right, a bunch of NFL stuff. Um, I don't know if I really wanna go through each of these guys, but Dolphins, Bengals, Bills, Broncos, Browns, Bucks, Chargers, Raiders, Seahawks, Steelers. I mean, a couple of names that I recognize on here, Tom Brady, Justin Herbert, uh, who else do I, Stefan Diggs. Miles Garrett. Those are a couple of names that I recognize, but this makes sense with the, another season of the NFL coming out. Um, crazy Tom Brady's still in the league, man. Like, I mean, he just won a Super Bowl. That's kind of a side tangent, but guy's a true legend, man. If you don't think he's the best quarterback of all time, I don't know. But anyways, that's just a side tangent. I don't follow the NFL very well, but I definitely think he deserves another pop. I don't know, what do you guys think? But anyways, pretty cool. So NFL pops could be coming. All right, next on this list, guys, we have some uh, boxing pops. So we have Julio Cesar Chavez, um, we have Mike Tyson, and also Oscar De La Hoya. So those all sound really cool. Oh, and Ryan Garcia, don't forget about Ryan Garcia. So I think this will be the first ever pop, official pop boxing line. I know that we had Muhammad Ali. That was a part of, I think it's like sports legends. That might've been a line or even just sports. I can't remember, but it will be cool to see um, pops of different boxers. So I would probably guess here in the future that if these do come out, we could see even more boxers. It'd be really awesome. All these guys, you know, are iconic boxers and everything. So. 
be on the lookout for boxing pops. Okay guys, so we got a couple of Disney things to cover for you. So next up we have Sword in the Stone pops, which will be pretty interesting to see um, because they announced a Sword in the Stone pop for WonderCon or WondrousCon, whatever they're calling it, which is Madame Mim, but she has like the pig nose or whatever. But the other ones that are gonna be coming out looks like is Sword in the Stone, Merlin with Archimedes, it looks like Arthur, Madame Mim, and Madame Mim as Dragon. And so, that's pretty cool to see. Um, Sword in the Stone is definitely a classic movie, one of those awesome, timeless Disney classics. And so, it'll be cool to see this come out into pop form. And I'm surprised that they haven't actually come out with these already. It's, it's definitely been overdue. So, um, yeah, with that one that's coming out for WonderCon, it's cool to see. We are potentially getting some more in the line. Other Disney stuff that we have here, we have Monsters at Work, which is the new Disney Plus series relating to Monsters, Inc. And I kind of already talked about the potential of these pops actually coming out um, because I thought, you know what? If this new show's coming out, the other ones are definitely gonna be coming up in price. And so that's kind of what I was talking about at that. But it definitely makes sense that they're coming out with these according to this list. Um, we have Doug Days, which is also a Pixar series that's gonna be coming out relating to Doug from up so we have a couple of different ones with that uh there is doug with squirrel carl hero doug russell doug with toys and so i think these are going to be pretty popular depending on how the show is pixar always puts out really great stuff and so i can't imagine that the show is not going to be a hit on disney plus but really cool and then a bunch of different pixar um plush Funko plush. So that's pretty much it. Alien Buzz Woody Soli Mike. So there you go. That will be cool to see for sure. Um, let's see, up next we have Candyman, pop movies, Candyman. Uh, so there's three pops with that and potentially a chase with that. So I believe this is a horror movie if I'm not mistaken. So for all you horror fans that like the Candyman, um, yeah, there could be pops coming out and also one with a chase. So that's really cool. We have mini moments. So if you guys remember Seinfeld was a line that was announced earlier this year. And so it looks like they're continuing with the mini moments, um, like they did for Seinfeld, but with Harry Potter. So there's Snape, Draco, Harry, Hermione, and Ron. All of these are going to be coming with chases. So really cool. There's also some pops that are going to be included in that for the Harry Potter anniversary. I want to say it's being close to 20 years for Harry Potter. I think it's the movie, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, so there's going to be uh, pops for that. So Harry with the stone, Hermione with wand, Ron and Devil's Snare, Harry pushing trolley. So that's a pop deluxe. Dumbledore with Hogwarts. So that's a pop with a town. That one will be really cool to see. So expect more Harry Potter stuff for all you Harry Potter fans out there. Um, let's see, what else? More like Pixar stuff that's kind of related to that. Looks like there could be some new mystery minis coming for the Pixar shorts, which I, I think it's Spark shorts if I'm not mistaken. I don't know what they're relating this to or if it's all the shorts that have come before movies and stuff. Either way, Pixar shorts, mystery minis could be happening. That's really exciting. Um, brand new pop animation Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack was definitely a really popular line of pops. There's only been three, I believe there's a two back with Jack and Aku Aku or Aku Aku. I don't know how you say it. I don't really, I've never really watched the show. I think the pops are really cool. Um, and there's also Scaramouche, which was a Toy Tokyo exclusive during a con as well. But yeah, we're getting potentially more Samurai Jack stuff. So that is really exciting. Looks like there's Jack, a uh, Jack Chase. Ashi, the Samurai, High Priestess, the Guardian. That will be really cool to see. Definitely all those Samurai Jack Pops will be awesome. Uh, mini moments of The Office. So just like Harry Potter, Seinfeld, like we were talking about. Looks like they have some for The Office. So there's Daryl, Dwight, Jim, Michael, Pam. I imagining, I imagine these being pretty like similar I imagine these being like in their office spaces. So Michael in his office, maybe a little bit of a scale version of Daryl in the warehouse. So it'll be interesting to see kind of what direction they go with that. So that is really cool. We are also hopefully seeing some new office pops. Um, looks like some more variants. It doesn't look like any really new characters because they've almost made all of the various characters already. So there's Aaron, um, there's Dwight with Pumpkinhead, Kevin as the Dunder Mifflin superhero. That'll be interesting to see. Michael with crutches, Oscar with Scarecrow, Doll, and Pam with the teapot and the note. So pretty much, like I said, existing characters with props and stuff, but still for all you Office fans and for me included, I don't know which ones I want to get from these, but um, yeah, love seeing new Office pops.
And then looks like there is some pops and keychains for the new Marvel series on Disney Plus that is What If. So I believe that's an animated one and it's talking about like different scenarios like what if Captain America didn't exist or what if Black Panther became somebody else or whatever. And so that's what that What If thing is about. So definitely there's going to be pops of it. Um, any Disney Plus series, you know, Disney, that's going to be popular. Disney's and Funko are gonna be making pops of those. So be expecting that. Um, and there also, looks like to wrap things up on here, some DC stuff, there is Wonder Woman 80 year pops, um, uh, White Lantern, Odyssey, A Twist of Fate. I don't really know much about that. I think that might be different like comic variations of her. Um, and then there is also, let's see, a Ride Deluxe, a Wonder Woman on Pegasus, and also a new Batman thing, which is a comic cover. Um, and I don't think we've seen the Superman comic cover yet, but that's the one that it was, has been announced. I think that was at Toy Fair. So it looks like we're getting one of Batman as well. So that is pretty sweet, but looks like, I think I covered everything on this list, but lots of really fun, exciting stuff to be looking forward to potentially here in the near future and hopefully here in 2021. But overall guys, let me know in the comment section below, is there something from this potential list of pops um, that you're excited about that you saw on here that you thought was really cool? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching again. You guys are awesome and the best. Like always, remember to be kind to one another and always promote positivity. And I'll see you in the next video. We'll catch you guys later.